Good morning, guys, and welcome to the channel. You'll see Alex taking off in the Pathfinder. It's his truck. He's going to need a new fuel pump, like you saw in the last video. So, hopefully, sometime in the next couple of days, we'll get that fixed so I can have my vehicle back. So, this has been today's project 2009 Dodge Avenger 2.4 had a head gasket and it was cheaper to buy a motor and do a motor swap than it would be to buy all the parts and replace the head gasket in the car. This is the old one and Tim's over there getting the newer one ready. What do you think Tim? Suppose we can fit a Hemi in there? A couple. sold the 2017 Kia Soul, happy about that, and one of the stipulations of the sale was that we had a remote start put into it, so we had our friends over here at Cox Electronics, our neighbors to the other side, and I just got a phone call from Rob, tells me the car is ready to roll. Unfortunately, old man Sawyer from Cox's did not want to be on camera, so he gets a little jab with the insult there, but nevertheless, they got the job done in record time, we're very pleased, and I'm sure my customer will be happy. Uh, with it as well. So another stipulation of the Kia Soul deal was to get four winter wheels and tires on the car, so that is what we're doing now, getting them mounted and balanced. sitting here balancing these tires, I wanted to take a minute to show you how to balance a tire. So this machine gets set up for a steel wheel and in these parameters here we tell it the width of the wheel, the diameter, all that sort of thing. So when we spin it up we we'll close the hood, the machine automatically spins the tire and then it will come up on the display and tell you how much weight to add. So now it's calling for one ounce on the inside and 0.5 on the outside. So what we do is we rotate the tire until all the lights light up. Like so, right there. And that tells me to put a one ounce weight on at the 12 o'clock position, which is basically top dead center of this wheel. So I'll do that. So there, we've pounded a weight on there. And we'll put the half ounce weight in the same position over here once I rotate it. So right there, now I can pound the weight on. So now I put that weight on there. We spin it one more time. Put them in the right place, it should come up and say zero, zero on both sides. Just like that. 
really pretty simple. The only time it really gets difficult is when you're dealing with big truck tires. They're generally quite heavy and hard to manhandle on and off the machine. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And this is what we took on trade for the 2017 Kia Soul. Is a 14 Ford Focus. And Alex is just getting her all cleaned up for us. Hey, make it out. Good. Good. So last night we did take home the 2014 Toyota Corolla. Again, because Junior's truck is incapacitated at the moment. So hopefully today we can get that in and get started on getting that fuel pump fixed so I can get my Pathfinder back. And just a quick update on the Dodge Avenger. The motor is in. Uh, it's not running yet. We're just getting things like power steering, alternator, uh, motor mounts, uh, intake gaskets, all that sort of stuff, getting that hooked back up so that we can uh, get this thing hopefully turned on, running, and a test drive and out of here by lunchtime today. So that's the goal and uh, so that gives us basically three and a half hours to try and get that done. Which is luck. Now we got fluids, the battery's reconnected. Should probably be a little rattle trap for the first two or three uh, seconds here. Hard start. Yeah. Shut off and try it again, kiddo. That's more gooder. I think we did pretty good. The goal to have it uh, have it done. I was hoping to get it done by lunchtime. We'll pay some bills. Take the old Jeepster for a ride. Man, what a wagon. Just loaded up with steering wheel controls, leather seats, heated. Leather seats, navigation. Use automatic transmission. We're spoiled boys. Gotta find that heated steering wheel button though somewhere. Today is someone's 18th birthday. So I'm just at the grocery store getting some pop and chips so we can take home for a little party for him. Don't use the gauze. Yeah, what are you doing now? Playing with a can. So I feel like I need to share this story with you. Um, it is a story that happens on occasion that uh, as a dealer, some of you guys might know this and have come across it in the past, but uh, I had to leave work a little bit early tonight so that I could get to Callus to pick up pizza for Junior's birthday party here. And so I hop into the 2013 
Hyundai Accent. I drive away. It isn't until I get to U.S. Customs when I realize I forgot to grab a dealer plate. So here I am with my wife in the passenger seat trying to enter another country with a vehicle that has no license plates on it. So this is what they saw on their cameras when we drove through. I didn't know how the customs guard was going to take it, but they were pretty good. They knew who we were and we told them we were just going to get pizza at Joe's, which is at the top of the hill. We could see the place from where we were and uh, they said, all right, but you know, they're straight back. Very good to deal with. Sometimes you don't get that with those guys. So the next hurdle is to get back into Canada with a car that has no license plates on it. So we get to Canada Customs and I see who's working and I cringe a little bit because this particular person generally can be pretty, how you say, by the book. So we pull up to the window, they ask for ID, give them the ID and same thing, I can't read your license plate. So I look at them and I said, it's funny you should mention that. Told her the story, she says, well that's not good and very serious look on her face and I said, I said no it really isn't good she says no not good at all and she asked if we had anything over and I said yep two big pizzas she handed back our IDs and said enjoy your pizzas have a great night and Sherry Don and I were like wow I can't believe that she just let us through we entered one country and then came back into another country without license plates. So it just goes to show that when you live in a small town and two small towns back to back on a border, um, sometimes you can actually get away with things that you probably wouldn't get away with on the bigger border crossings. So we're very thankful to live where we live and have such a great relationship with the country and the town or the city uh, right next door. So I hope you enjoyed that story, guys. If you like what you see in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, you can click the box right here. And please subscribe by clicking the bubble right above me. Thanks again, and have a great day. We'll see you next time.